Okay, yes. Aloha and welcome to today's webinar presentation. My name is Becky. We are here at BYU Hawaii and we are hosting today's webinar with Gwangju Boiner School in preparation for our Asia Pacific Career Conference, a four days conference held here at BYU Hawaii, designed to help students that are interested in employment in Asia Pacific to connect with employers with recruiting events. APCC will be on March 6 to 9th, so please download APCC app or check APCC website for more details. So today we are learning about more Gwangju Foreigner School from Mr. Rock Pali in Korea. Before we begin the presentation, let me introduce you to some of the aspects of our software. Those of you attending this live can see that you have the opportunity to participate in Q&A at the bottom. If you are click on the Q&A button, button and start, uh, submit questions, we will try to respond to those now. You will also see that there is a way to raise your hands or interact in different ways if you would like to address something or have a question. For the most part, you will see that you cannot be heard or seen, but your way of communicating with the presenter is through the Q&A. Now that we are all familiar with technology, let's begin our webinar. The time is now yours to share your presentation. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to uh, say hello to all of you. My name is Robert Holly, and I'm the founder and the head of Guangzhou Foreign School. Uh, before I tell you about our school, I'd like to tell you a little bit about me. Uh, in uh, many years ago, I don't need to tell you when, but a long time ago, I came to Korea for the first time as an LDS missionary and decided I really loved Korea and I wanted to continue some kind of relationship with Korea, perhaps uh, get a job here and do other things. Uh, so my intention at that time was to become a lawyer. And so I decided to go back after my mission and, and study and go to law school. And I did so and graduated from BYU Provo uh, and then went to law school in West Virginia University. And after passing the bar there, I got a job. My first job was with Korea's oldest international law firm. And so I came to Seoul, worked for this law firm for many years, and then went to Pusan uh, to work for a different law firm. While I was in Pusan, uh, I, uh, well, while I was in Seoul, I actually got married and had my first uh, child while I was there. But after we moved to Busan, my son was reaching the age of, uh, of going to school, and I was quite worried because most of the international schools in Korea were overpriced. They were out of our price range. Uh, and, and so in discussing the needs of my children with a client of ours, uh, we decided to go ahead and try to establish the first foreign school well, they had an existing international school in, in Busan, but we decided to uh, create another school based on an American style curriculum. And so we went ahead and did so in the city of Busan. Uh, after uh, doing that for some time and continuing my work as a lawyer, I got heavily involved in the entertainment industry and uh, so I eventually left my job as a lawyer and uh, got involved uh, in television full time. And since that time, I've been uh, on numerous, maybe hundreds, if not thousands of TV programs and in uh, dozens of commercials. Uh, so uh, if you ask, most Koreans, they'll know who Robert Holly is. Uh, 
but going along with our school story, after creating our school uh, in Pusan, the mayor of the city of Gwangju came to Pusan and visited our school and uh, called me aside for a discussion with me. And he ended up asking me if I would come to Gwangju and help establish a foreign school there. The problem was that in Gwangju in the southwest region of Korea called the Chula provinces, there were no foreign schools for any foreign residents in that area. And he wanted to entice foreign companies to come to this region of Korea to establish um, branches and factories and other things and wanted to have uh, schools in this area for their children to attend. So after much thought and discussions with um, uh, several people, I decided to come here to the city of Gwangju and establish the first foreign school here. Uh, that took place in 1999. And uh, our school was established in 1999 with just 13 kids. Uh, three of them were my own kids. Um, and uh, so, Besides my own kids, just 10 of the kids. We, since that time, have grown by leaps and bounds. Now, before I tell you about our school, I'd like to tell you about the region in which I reside, which is the city of Gwangju. Gwangju is a city of 1.6 million people. We have, uh, it's the uh, sixth largest city of Korea, and uh, it has many of the same things that uh, other foreign schools, or other foreign, other huge cities do throughout throughout uh, Korea. We have fast food restaurants, many of which you may know from the states or other countries. We have Burger King's, McDonald's, Domino's Pizza, Pizza Hut, and all these uh, wonderful uh, fast food restaurants, which I love and which have created my stomach here <laughs> anyway. But we have all the amenities that uh, many large cities throughout the world have. There is nothing that you cannot find uh, in Gwangju. Uh, you can just about purchase anything and eat anything that you want. They have uh, restaurants which cater to cuisines from all over the world. Uh, it's a wonderful place to live. We have uh, temperatures which range from below zero, uh, that's centigrade, below zero centigrade in the wintertime, and then it gets uh, hot in the summertime. So we have four seasons, and it's just a beautiful city to live in. Uh, the city is famous for many things. Huang means light, so it's the city of light, which they call. There's a huge mountain behind the city called Wudengsan, and Gwangju is famous for many festivals. The, biggest festival which they have is held every two years. It's called the Gwangju Biennale. It's an art festival which they have uh, in the city. But there are many other festivals and many other things to see and do. Gwangju is also famous for a kimchi festival which they hold every year. And uh, many foreigners, including our teachers, participate each year in this kimchi festival. They go to see and taste the various kimchis and even try to make them. Uh, so it's quite a fun place to live. Now, to tell you a little bit about our school, um, I'd like to uh, tell you that our school, which I said was established in 1999, has grown. We have now almost 100 students. We surpassed 100, but it goes up and down depending on when students do uh, leave the area and move on to other places, but we do have around 100 students or maybe a little bit less than that right now. Uh, we use an American style curriculum in uh, all grades. We have all grade levels. We have pre-K through grade 12, all the way from uh, pre-kindergarten through high school. And uh, our teachers, most of whom are from the United States, but we have teachers from uh, all over the world, uh, but most of them from the US. We do have Korean teachers as well. Uh, 
we have specialized teachers who teach art, um, computer sciences, and foreign languages. Uh, we also have, in our high school, of course, the teachers are specialized in certain areas, for example, language arts or uh, social studies, math, and science. Um, at any rate, uh, our school produces graduates who have had a great quality education, and uh, we also have many elective classes for students to choose from based on their grade level. We have students in high school who can take AP courses both in the school and online. Uh, as I said, I founded the school and uh, it has provided a wonderful education to many, many students over the last 20 years. Um, our students first graduated as first uh, students, I believe in the early 2000s, I mean, around 2003, 2004. Um, let's see, I need to find out exactly when that was. That was 2003, that the first KFS graduate was accepted into an American university. The school is fully accredited by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. Um, that is an association accrediting organization in the United States, Western region of the United States. In fact, uh, BYU Provo is part of that association, and I believe that BYU Hawaii probably is as well. I haven't checked that. But in 2005, the school uh, got this full accreditation from the Western Association of School of Schools and Colleges, WASC as we call them. And in 2005, the school uh, helped create the first athletic conference in the southern area of Korea. It's called the Southern Korean Athletic Conference. And seven schools participate in that. We have soccer matches, basketball matches, cross country, and many other sports which we engage in, our students participate in. We also have a performing arts program, a choir and orchestra, and we do hold uh, uh, various plays we put on for the uh, people in Guangzhou. Um, now, uh, we, in 2010, our first graduate to uh, get accepted, well, we had our first graduate accepted into an Ivy League university. Uh, it was Cornell University, which they were accepted into. Um, as for our school now, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our mission, so that you know what we uh, want to instill in our students. Hangzhou Foreign School stands on the pillars of character and knowledge. Uh, we try to produce well-rounded thinkers and problem solvers with a long, uh, lifelong love of learning. Um, we strive for students to be effective communicators uh, who can work individually and collaboratively. And uh, we try to uh, help our students to strengthen their own cultural ties with their community, wherever that community is. Um, as for uh, our students, many of them have been accepted into universities throughout the United States, Boston University, uh, Central Michigan University, Colorado State University, Cornell, DePaul, Drake, Drew, um, Brigham Young University, Hawaii. Many of our, uh, of our grads go to university there. Uh, they've been accepted to all the BYUs, BYU Idaho and BYU Provo as well. Um, George Washington University. I can go through this list, but it would take <laughs> probably a full day to go through the list of universities in which our students have been accepted. Um, but we're very proud of our students. As I was saying, we have teachers at all levels, high school teachers, middle school teachers, elementary school teachers. We prefer our teachers to be accredited, uh, not accredited, um, to be certified teachers. Sorry, I'm getting a little mixed up here. We pr prefer that they be certified um, or that they have several years of experience. So in terms of what type of uh, students uh, might be interested in working for us. We look for students who are either education majors 
or general university studies majors, but that's not all. We want students who major in math or social sciences or English as well. Uh, as, uh, and then in addition to those things, art, we're looking for an art teacher right now, as well as an elementary teacher as well. So we have, I believe, currently available three teaching positions at our school. Um, teachers that come to our school are able to have, uh, well, we can say room and board, but actually we provide each teacher with their own apartment. Uh, the apartment is mostly furnished. The teachers are asked to bring their own bedding materials, for example, sheets and whatever, but all the apartments have beds and televisions and everything else, all the amenities that you might need. Uh, so the teachers get that rent free. You don't have to pay rent while you are working at our school. Uh, you get free lunches at our school as well. We provide health insurance uh, for our teachers and uh, many other job benefits. Of course, if you're a teacher, you get a long vacation as well. Um, so I'd like to show you a few little videos from YouTube. So I'm gonna share my screen to show these videos that will introduce you to our school. The first video that I will show you um, is a drone flying over the school complex. Now, when you see the school, one of the buildings at the bottom, uh, at the first screen, I believe, or no, it's, on, it's to the left on the first screen, the, by this left building is actually where our teachers live. We have the apartment complex right adjacent to the school. When our school first was founded, we were in a very small complex which we rented from the city. But since that time, I spent a lot of money and uh, created a huge uh, campus. So I'd like to share with you some views of that campus right now. I'll share with you my screen. So, um, we go. Let me show you the first video which I have. Uh, and this is the drone flying over the city, flying, flying over the school. This is our campus. The building at the far left is the teacher's It's a snowy day when I, it was a snowy day when I came back. These are some of our students on the playground. Yes, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I've got to uh, show you a second video, which uh, these, I'm gonna show you actually two other videos, but they're all short. They're probably a minute long. Um, and these videos were actually uh, advertisements created by our students for our school. So let me show you the first of these. They're just posted on YouTube. You can go back and see them if you like. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, that was uh, one of the videos. Now I'll show you one last video. Again, this is a minute long. One thing I failed to share with you was the fact that many of our students are not Korean. We have, of course, the great majority are Korean students who have foreign citizenship or foreign residence for a certain period of time. But we have students from all over the world. We have students from India. We've had students from Germany, from the United States as well. We've had students from Sweden. And currently we have some students from Denmark as well. So uh, from England, from Australia, from all over the world. And we're very proud of our uh, students who do represent different areas of the world. This is the last video, uh, one which I like, but again, students English, who created English this. This is so hard. Where should I go? Welcome to campus! Okay, um, now I need to figure out how to get out of this. Um, okay, so I hope you enjoyed <laughs> Uh -oh. Okay, sorry. Uh, so that basically is our school, and I am uh, hope you enjoyed my presentation so far. I'm willing to continue to answer your questions if you have any questions. So are there any questions? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Marcia. I'm from uh -huh. Indonesia, actually. And uh huh. I'm actually studying hospitality and tourism management right now. Uh huh. I'm taking a certification in TESOL, and as a requirement for the in for the certification is we are supposed to do an internship. And uh huh. I'm very interested in doing an internship. Uh, the school where uh, I'm familiar with the learning system. I uh, I grew up like attending international schools, which is uh -huh. interested in, in some of the international schools. Yes. It's, it's like just by looking at the videos, it, they they remind me so much of the schools that I attended uh, uh -huh. in high school and like growing up. So uh -huh. was, my question is: Are you open for internships or in? Yes. Um... We may, uh, we, we do have some internships we are thinking of doing since uh, uh, Kenny was at our school last, last week, I believe. And uh, we discussed with him as well as with the other principal. We have a principal which we employ at our school, the possibility of having interns come. So this is an open possibility and we are looking at it and hope that we can get some BYU Hawaii interns to come and and 
serve at our school for some time. I will be at the ACC, the Asia Pacific Career Conference, in two weeks. And so if you're interested in an internship, then I hope you can talk with me then. Pardon me? Um, what, what do you want us to prepare for? Well, just prepare like you would for any other interview. I mean, uh, have your resume and, and, and when you meet with me during the APCC, perhaps, then you can, you know, brag about yourself. That's something we all need to do. And so if you can brag to me about yourself and tell me what good points, what you have to offer our school, then uh -huh. look at it and, and perhaps uh, find something for you to do. Sorry, just a quick question. Uh -huh. so you mentioned um, uh, you want to see people's resume, but uh, do you prefer uh, English resume or like Kore uh, resume in Korean, like, or both of them? I, I ask me again. I can't hear you very well. Oh, okay. So actually, I have a question about uh, the document students uh -huh. prepare. So, do you, would you prefer um, like English resume or like uh, yes? in Korea or both of them? No, no, because we're in an international school, everything is done in English at the school. So we'd like your resume in English. Okay. Um, you don't need to speak Korean at all to work at our school. Uh, most of our teachers don't speak Korean, except those who are Korean. So uh, yes, an English resume is fine. All those kinds of things. All right, thank you so much. And then, as you mentioned, that you have around hundred students. Uh huh. How many like teachers is it working in the school now? So, because we have perhaps I I around I would guess sixteen teachers. So we have teachers at every grade level, um, which would mean 13, 13 teachers. Plus, we have our art teacher and language teacher and other teachers as well. So there's about 16 teachers that we have. We have other staff members as well. We have cafeteria staff, office staff, and uh, also me and my wife work at the school as well, and our principal. So. And then there's a one more question the student asked. Uh-huh. What subject teachers are you looking for? Language teachers, math, science? Yes, all of them. <laughs> so we have, I believe on Handshake, we have three, three positions um, which are posted. Uh, we're looking for an art teacher right now. I know that for a fact, and there are two other teaching positions available. But normally, um, each year, positions open up then we hire from the open positions. And usually these are elementary teachers, which are general education majors. Um, in high school, the teachers are specialized in math, science, social studies, and English. Uh, we also have a foreign language teacher. In the past, we've had Spanish taught at our school. Now our foreign language currently being taught is Chinese. That's being taught at the school right now. So. <laughs> so, are there any other questions? Well, it looks like time is up. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for participating in our seminar today and our webinar. I look forward to seeing you all in two weeks. Okay, thank you so much. We'll see you at the APCC. Bye. Bye. Okay.